we're back in the space. Dude. It's totally different. So for those of you that don't know, we literally just built what you see in the last two weeks with the help of Mr. V. And that's all we're going to say uh, to keep his identity secret. But this is so different, so much better. And everything now is streamlined and it's perfect. It's exactly the way we want it. It's crazy how much bigger this space is. Yeah, we gained, what was it, over three feet? Yeah, over three feet just this way. But then you got all this, too. So we gained, like, 40 square feet. It's hard to fathom what this was and what it is now. Because, okay, think about think about it. When you and I first started thinking that we needed a new studio space, we went looking to rent a place. And we went to a place around the corner from me that the room was probably no bigger than this. Maybe right. like 20 square feet bigger. We don't need that much room. This is perfect. Correct. Yep. I am stoked. And we got we got room in a corner for something big, mm-hmm. which we won't talk about. Oh, yeah. Garbage can right here for empties. And this is it. What's up, roomy? I hope everybody can hear that it sounds better, too, because we have... Ceiling tiles above us. It's all acoustic paneling. We have acoustic paneling on the wall here, behind me over on this side, behind Mike over there, and behind Mike right next to the flag. We're just we've got carpet. These shoes are coming off. Yeah. We're just chilling, it's bro. It's so much different. This is an actual room. Um, our table's dead nut center in the middle. We have lights everywhere. We have plants and air fresheners. <laughs> it's heated. I mean, the whole thing is different. So this is going to be a clip. So explain to the people what it was like before when we first got here. Okay. So we are in a garage and the garage had a half finished section that the previous homeowner used as like a quote unquote tool room, not insulated, um, fully exposed ceiling and, or like right to the roof. Mm -hmm. And there was... Nothing. There was no door. Um, It was just kind of like an open wall to get into this area. So we essentially looked at the space and said, let's flip it. And it went from, we'll just insulate the ceiling and be done to we're going to frame and build a wall. Well, we're going to add a door. We're going to make a actual studio the way that it should be with all the acoustic paneling, the works to make sure that first of all, we're warm. Second of all, we're going to be sweating Mm -hmm. in winter and in summer. And then third, we have the better, like the best possible sound and we can fix lighting issues. We can fix the walls because it was just straight white walls all over the place in one window. Yeah. The, the outlet covers didn't fill all the holes. Mm -hmm. It was just a mess. And we're like, screw it. We're just going all in. So we did. We painted the walls a dark blue, a dark gray. We got acoustic paneling. We added a drop ceiling. We added four different lights. Um, Hours worth of research on color schemes, what kind of paint to use. Should we use paint primer mix? Should we prime, then paint? Um, What kind of insulation should we use? And then we just went to town and, and got to work, basically, in... What is probably the worst year to ever Mm. do a construction project? (laughs) We went all in um, just based on pricing of supplies. But we added insulation above the ceiling, inside the wall that we built, framed in a door. And mind you, we had no clue how to do anything, (laughs) and we made it work. So we got curtains for the, the window to block out light, but it also insulates. We have an infrared heater that we weren't applying correctly. Right. For the last year and a half. So now this thing is literally going to get us real toasty. <laughs> we put, um, we cleaned the floor after we did all the demo dirty work. And then we put in a loose lay pad and carpet. Added everything onto the walls, threw some shelves in the corner. I mean, we, we still got the American flag. We still got the whiskey review board. And we kind of tied everything in from season one and two, and then we're just rolling through seasons three through five, and it's just unbelievable what's happening. It's crazy. So I'll throw some B-roll footage over this, but basically as soon as you walk into my garage, it was just open. There was nothing there before we built the wall. Yeah. 
is you pan to the right and that's the actual side of the garage right over here. And then as you come back, that was the space that we had to record, but it was behind a curtain. So we weren't, we didn't have that much space. And now it's just, like you said, just completely turned around. It's a total 180 and it's so warm in here. And now, now, I mean, we got our, uh, our welcome mat Mm -hmm. with like a, a plastic thing. For shoes, whatever the hell that called. What is that thing called? <laughs> tray, like a yeah, like a shoe tray, yeah. basically. Did you know? It's what I got in my basement. For those that have been in my basement, and then uh, slippers are going to be here permanently. And it's, I mean, everything's I mean, waterproof, everything's insulated, and we said the hell with it. We're not going to make someone else rich. We're mm-hmm. going to make the best of what we have, and we totally renovated the space and made it ours. And the American dream is still alive. Hell yeah.